Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So guys I am here to do um, a random collective love reading okay this reading is for the collective that means it's not going to be for all of you okay so just take what does resonate and leave what doesn't and thank you to everyone for your likes subscribes comments shares donations everything um, you guys have been absolutely amazing to me thank you so much for everything that you do that helps this channel grow. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you very much. All right, so let's get started. First of all, what I'm seeing here is a person, it's like man down, right? Somebody's in a lot of pain, possibly even feeling like they've been stabbed in the back here. Um, and I feel like they've been in a, uh, in a crossroads kind of energy where they've had to make a decision but this person procrastinated on speaking their truth making a decision cutting something out um you know they they really uh just didn't want to they didn't want to speak up i feel um and now they're well let's talk about you first because you are in queen of pentacles energy okay it's really important to know this because the Queen of Pentacles is the most financially stable person in, or uh, queen in the whole deck, right? Just under the Empress, let's just say that. And um, yeah, you're very financially stable, very grounded. Um, you're abundant here. Uh, you're, I'm seeing you as being single out here so far, um, just kind of rocking your own game. And um, having, a, having a major success here. Uh, you're very, very financially abundant, I feel. And this person can see this now. And now they're in a lot of pain over this. But they're, they're seeing you for your abundance, for your pentacles, okay? Um, and they're in a lot of pain because they're having to hold on to anything that they can find at this point. They are one step away from freaking poverty level. All right. At the five of pentacles, they're at poverty. They're out in the cold. They're um, financially burdened. Okay. Um, so right here, they're hanging on to everything that they, that they can get their hands on. They're, ha they're hanging on really tight to everything that they could. Also, this person, they may not have shared with you in the past. Okay, and they could have had an attitude about it. They didn't want to give to you, maybe. Um, but now they need, they're all they can think about is money. Where am I going to get more money? A lot of money, right? They're looking at your stuff here and very upset. Like, this is a completion card, but the most painful one. They're in a lot of pain over this, but. They didn't talk to you. They just let you sit in this by yourself, probably wondering what the F was going on, right? Um, they didn't share anything with you, no information, no love, no nothing. You could hear crickets chirping out here, right? You accomplished all of this on your own, I feel. It's all yours. You um, uh, really grew your finances here. Yeah, and all they did was let like let you let you sit with no information, no nothing. They procrastinated. And now they're in financial trauma, wondering how they're going to get their hands on all of this money, right? Um I'm hearing this person could have gambled. I feel like they gambled your connection. That's really what they gambled, and I feel like they can sense that too. Um, a lot of pain here. They missed an opportunity because they sat on this and they weren't freaking real about it. They, they weren't honest with their feelings. They, they didn't talk to you because they really didn't want to. This person had a choice to make, a decision to make, and truth that they had to speak, and they procrastinated on it. This is procrastination at its best, and this is what happens when you procrastinate on something too long. You miss your opportunity, right? 
I feel like they're 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 feeling it though in this hermit energy. They they can feel this. They don't want to miss this opportunity. They're probably trying to think of any way that that they can change this around. But I feel like this was a third party situation that they put you in, and you were the original sacrifice. And then after that, they gave you nothing. I feel like this person could have abandoned you, ghosted you, no communication, no clarity, no nothing. They, they were in a, a decision that they had to make. I feel this is needing to make a decision and cut something out, and they just didn't do it. And now they're heartbroken. Third party, heartbreak, betrayal. Yeah, with the hermit out here, it's like how do they come in how do they come and apologize? What are they gonna say about all of this? What the F are they gonna say? Very, very burdened by all of this. Yeah, because you know what? How are they gonna apologize? And would they have come to apologize to you had they not seen now that you are financially abundant? Would they have, you know, if you weren't financially abundant, would they still come and apologize? That's the, that's the main question here. If, if it wasn't for your money, like say you were at the seven of pentacles or something like that, still working on your stability, right? Still working, working your fingers to the bone to try to get ahead. If, if, it, if it was like that, would they still come and apologize? Would they still feel burdened? You know, because it seems to me like this person is in pain because you're stable financially and they are not. And when they had a chance to share with you or up, open up to you or at least do right by you, they didn't. They knew they were supposed to, but they didn't. Okay? That's a choice that they made. And because of that, they're missing out on it. They missed out. On a queen of freaking pentacles. You know, yeah, look. You've been a household name for this person. I don't know who's bringing you up. Them or whoever they chose um, instead of you. See how this door is open and there's, there's two feminine energies in this picture. They were sharing a home with someone, but either thinking about having this love with you or thinking about you all the time, obsessing, maybe they were both watching you, person watching. Um, either way, it's like you were a household name here. And now you're just like, you're done, man. During that whole entire time that they shared a home with this person, they talked about you. You were always like, your energy was always there, but in all actuality, you were working on yourself. You were learning the lessons from this last cycle. You were, you were growing. You were healing. You were learning more about your spiritual journey, right? And now you've learned your lessons from this last crappy cycle here that, these, that this person kept you in, okay? Kept you in, right? In that stagnancy. And now you're like, you know what? I'm so, I, I, you've outgrown this, basically. I'm so over this, I'm, I've outgrown it. It's time to, it's time to move forward and, and get the things that I deserve. I put all this work into myself. Uh, I'm balanced now, I'm confident, I'm strong. I've got freaking backbone and muscle. And, I, and I'm gonna be very abundant. You are very abundant, Queen of Pentacles. You're already there. You're just moving forward here. But man, no one, no one can take your place. I feel like there could have been a competition here going on, not that you knew about it. You have been, you've just been working on yourself and it's progressed you very, very far. This I feel goes over here. Yeah, and that's your justice. You're moving forward into a brand new cycle, into even more abundance, you know? All, your whole life, look, with the world card here, person watching your whole life is about to change. You are moving up 
you're elevating, okay? Your whole life is about to change. You could have even made a house move or moved to like far, far away, right? Uh, move, move, big move. But um, yeah, you're, you're headed up. So your whole life, person watching, is about to change, all right? Um, yeah, and you're this person's wish fulfillment. They're wishing for you. They've got a lot of passion for you. Who wouldn't? You're sexy. You're beautiful, confident, strong, poised, balanced emotionally, abundant, ready to take on a new adventure, new challenges, elevate even more. You're spiritual, intuitive, and you're closing out a cycle the right way. You're moving forward, man. This person has the hots for you so bad. So bad. I feel like, yeah, wow, really bad. They're like, crap. Yeah, big crap. Telling you. Yeah, they turn their back on, on the soulmate connection here, and they're in a lot of regret now. Very burdened, financially burdened as well. Financially burdened as well. Because this Ten of Pentacles here, this chest filled with pentacles, I feel like that's yours. And they get this home where they have to share a home with someone else, but think about you this whole time. And now it just got even worse for your person because not only were they thinking about the love that you had, now they're thinking about how you're wealthy. We're going to be, and you could be moving. You could have just bought a new car. You're already starting to live a better lifestyle. You're all, I feel like you're already starting to gift yourself things that you deserve because you worked for them. You put forth the effort. Some of you could have gotten a new car, a new home. You could have made a big move, like I said. But you're just moving forward, looking stunning. Look at you. Stunning. <laughs> You know, your chariot is wrapped in gold, man. I'm telling you. Moving forward on a golden chariot, yeah, with the world card here. Oh, this person, I honestly, I feel like you, you could even be just standing out. You stand out above everyone else. You could even be in the public eye here. They, they're seeing you, finding you very attractive, very hot, very sexy. This person has a lot of passion for you. You are their wish fulfillment. You're their wish fulfillment. This person could be a drinker, could spend a lot of time in a bar maybe. Could be a Sagittarius. We've got Sag. We've got um, Virgo. Um, Gemini. Any air sign really. Yeah, I see you possibly as a Cancer, any Earth sign. That's your energy. Yeah, they're in a lot of regret because you're their wish. They want you. They're on fire for you, man, on fire. They are on fire. Okay, so what action is this person going to take? Let me switch decks, guys. Let me get a new deck because I just want some fresh... Fresh messages. Wish fulfillment on the bottom of the deck. Same same card. Nine of Cups. I'm telling you. Yeah, you could be a high priestess wishing for their high priestess. Maybe they're keeping this a secret for now. I don't know. Um, but I feel like that's your energy. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Gemini. I feel like the high priestess is you, and that's that's who this person wants. You, you're on a spiritual journey. That's why I say that. Um, yeah, this person's heartbroken. They chose wrong, man. Wrong. I don't know who they chose. Their person, whoever they chose, isn't really out here. They're sharing a home with this person. Not really out here, though. They don't give them much thought. This person literally is only thinking about you. They're only thinking about you and being extremely burdened at the loss because of their messed up choices. Yeah, 
looking at their money in review, right? Let's see, the last uh, maybe four years in review, what's happened with their finances, right? And, and what it is that they really want and how they think they can get, they think they can get it through you. But I feel like you're just freaking done. You're done. And, and, and you're moving forward here. Yeah. Because you're healed. Yeah, I feel like you could be in the public eye. What did I say? The star, right? You could be an, an Aquarius. But I feel like this is your energy here, showing yourself to the world. Um, I feel like you're a really good healer person watching, and you're pouring that healing energy back into the world, okay? And um, everybody's watching you. You're kind of like a guiding light for, for people, probably to carry them through this journey, the same kind of um, pain that you had, the same lessons you had, you could be leading them. I can see you as a leader here, a spiritual leader, spiritual teacher, spiritual healer. Yeah, you're doing something I feel very important and you're moving forward um, with something spiritual, right? Oh, this goes up here, sorry. All right, what, is, what action is this person going to take? I feel like they're watching you for now because you're showing yourself here. Um, whatever you're putting out there, I feel like this person is going to be watching you, but it's easy to see you because they're in the public eye. They're going to feel very bumped out into the cold. There's that five of pentacles. What did I say? In the beginning, I said, you know, they're one step away from poverty here. They're at the four and at the five, they're at poverty level. There it is. There it is. You know, uh, yeah. And they're feeling very left out in the cold because you're healing other people. And I feel like you're a guide for other people, but you're not helping this person. Yeah, judgment call. You're... Yeah, just as judgment fell right on top of them. Yeah, you're not helping them. And I feel like the divine is telling you, leave it. Yeah, the divine is like, leave it. You move, you know, you're looking away, right? You got your back turned. You're being a guiding light for others, right? For others. And um, I feel like this, the divine has this person blocked. There's judgment on this person, but they're also telling you to make a judgment call to move forward. This is part of the last cycle. This person didn't learn their lessons. They didn't do the work. They put in no freaking effort. And they did it on purpose with procrastination here. Okay. So now this person, you know, they're reaping their karma. And it could have been all about money. So their money's getting hit. Their health could be getting hit. Um, their relationship, whatever they choose, that's getting hit. Their home life is getting hit. This person's getting hit with a lot of freaking karma right now. That's one of the reasons why they're sitting here crying. They could very well know they turn their back on um, on uh, someone who could be very divine here at this point, you know, with the star and judgment and the world and, you know, emperors out here. Clarify the emperor. This is someone who makes difficult decisions. You could be bossing up into the emperor. Um into the emperor energy too you could have both both empress and emperor energy and that's good that would be very good yeah that would be good then yeah so you know take it right um that these wanted to come out yeah i feel like you're turning your back on this this person you know they worked on the wrong thing they invested their time, energy, patience, money into the wrong thing. Um, and they stood here with a decision to make in a crossroads energy for a mighty long time. There's a two of swords and the two of wands. They know that with you, the one that they truly want, see that one wand here that they have their hand on? That's this wand. Okay. 
They know they can have the world with you, right? Wish fulfillment and the world card. There you are. That one proves that one. The world and the world. You have the world energy right now. But they're stuck. I feel like there's someone that seems fairly permanently affixed with them. Okay? They feel very attached to your person. They may want a new beginning, but they're still standing here bent over being all sad about this hoe. That gardening tool right there. Okay? All sad because they invested something into somebody. You know, all they can think about is this this hoe that, you know, working with this hoe that they invested all this stuff in, right? That gardening tool. And now, you know, they're like, I, I want a new beginning. They want to come towards you. That wherever they were before, what I'm saying is wherever they were before, it's, it was a waste of time. And now they want to come towards you because with you, they could change their whole world. But judgment's being called on this person. I think you're making this judgment call. You could be dealing with a Taurus as well or a Scorpio. You know, and this person, this is, they could have even picked up an STD during their time with whoever else, right? And that would, that for those people who are, your person has picked up an STD, that's their justice. That's karmic justice. That's karmic justice. Because they could have, they could have used you. They could have used a lot of people. For some of you. And now, now, you know, they could have picked up an STD, something incurable. And that's, that they're stuck with. That's justice. You know, death to a situation there. Yeah, they'll have it until the day they die. This STD. They're, they won't be able to, they, they'll have to carry it through life with them. You could be dealing with an, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They definitely see you as their match here in energy. This is somebody who takes a very long time, very stubborn person, possible Taurus. This person from your past can't stop thinking about you. They're, they're having a lot of fond memories of you, but they're, they're holding back how they feel about you right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thinking about the money, 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 which, you know, they right now it seems like they don't have much. They've been running out of money since this corner. Now in this corner, they're all their poverty level, really financially burdened. They want to come forward, maybe put on their best dress, you know, Maybe straighten their crown a little bit, you know, look all sharp, all nice, you know, all wonderful for you. Make you believe that they've got something spectacular going on. But this person, you know, they, they changed their outfit, right? But they're still financially burdened. I feel like they want to maybe maybe dress to impress you or something like that. I feel like this person's getting ready to come forward here. And communicate because they can't stop thinking about you they want to try this person's gonna try they can't carry these burdens anymore here it comes person watching this person's coming forward to apologize tell you how they feel about you yeah so get ready for it but I really feel like this person they were a total butt nut in the beginning man I'm telling you so you know that now it's your money that's turned their head around, just to let you know, okay? Yeah, now they see you as their wish. All right, anyway, person watching, that's what I got for this reading. Um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. And um, if you like this video, please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help me grow. And until next time, person watching, take care of you, and peace out.